The case of the lens on frogs of the Philippines offers a new set of knowledge in understanding evolution, especially convergent evolution. This is the new species for sure. I have no doubt now that we're going to a close-up view of this call, but it sounds a bit like other limestone species. Evolutionary biologists think that if empty habitat and niche space is available, species will be drawn into it and form these unique types. Frogs invade an island archipelago. There's no frogs here occupying that space. There's no, no, no competitors. And then they're free to adapt into all those types of ecological niches. In the past 20 years, we've found over 50 new frogs in the country. And what we found out was actually you know, dumbfounding. From each new locality that we surveyed, we practically found a completely new set of amphibian fauna. You think we'll be doing this until we were 60 or something? At least. I hope so. No? <laughs> the most exciting part for us was that the previous idea of relationships in this group appeared to be wrong, and that this was a case of not three or four types of frogs in the Philippines that were each other's closest relatives, but in fact that many of these types had evolved many times, in this case in response to the environment. The ring around the neck. Yep. Not the same, these are obviously have wider toe beds, but they're pretty close. Mm -hmm. Even the ground but They frogs. do vary. The, the so at this point, something. when we find limestone frogs, it's very obvious to us that they are this specialized form that exists solely on limestone. And we go to those areas, and there may be other frogs that live in and around that environment as well, but when we find one of these specialist limestone karst frogs, they are obviously a different type of frog than the other frogs we may find on the forest floor or up in the trees. And that's the one that we identify as the habitat structural specialist that is really honed in on this limestone environment and are utilizing it in a unique way. We believe that the story of limestone frogs, you know, its diversity, its evolutionary history, will provide uh, more avenues for a deeper understanding on how evolution of biodiversity, especially in island archipelagos, actually works.